All right, we're gonna do compound systems and how we stagger them for, uh, we call it synchronized resets. And this is more efficient rigging. So uh, in the last video, I showed you like how many resets you had to do if you, if you just had one anchor and you're compounding your system on that one anchor. And our, our edge, or as far as we can get on this uh, initial haul cam on a three to one simple is right here. And, and what defines our throw or basically like our mechanical advantage collapses is, is the sheave of this uh, three to one pulley right here. This is for something else. And so this sheave of this three to one pulley from this distance from here all the way back to where it's gonna two block and collapse. This is what we call throw, not necessarily haul field. Our haul field can be endless out here since we have plenty of space. And this is our simple three to one. And what we don't wanna do in a staggered system is compound this into a nine to one here with an additional directional. So what we don't want to do is clip a directional in and then bring a bite down and compound it in a nine to one on the same anchor because we're going to end up resetting our system over and over again. So we don't want to do this. Instead, we're going to we're going to stagger this out. That sheave pull is so that throw between there and here is about 13. It's about 13 feet. So and it's a three to one. So I need to figure out how far I need to stagger the system beyond that in order for all my uh, pulleys, my traveling pulleys to two block at the same time. So this is a three to one system, theoretical. At 13 feet of that throw, I multiply 13 feet times three. That gives me 39 feet. So I need 39 total feet minimum on this next throw in order to make sure everything two blocks and and this is where our staggered systems come into play so we can go inline staggered or we can go split staggered split is bat wing uh, we'll start with inline so uh 13 feet is already here i'm going to continue on so i've covered one of my 13 feet now i need to do the other 13 feet two more of those so that's a total of 26 feet minimum that i need to get to my anchor um and so i loosely measured this and it's probably not exact, so it's probably not exact, but it's going to be close. So roughly 39 feet away is this right here. So, and so now I'm building my, my next mechanical advantage system. And so what I'm doing is just a piggyback three to one on a three to one for a compound nine to one system. It's a little confusing, but our first throw is actually this long throw. Our second throw is is what people normally would think of the, thir the first throw. Um, but this is actually our first throw right here. This is a three to one. Compounding onto another simple three to one system for a nine to one total system. All right, let's see what happens when I pull. So we two blocked. So this collapsed. I had more than enough. So in reality, my 39 feet is actually right here, not all the way back there. So this was just guesstimating. So this is an inline compound system, or staggered inline compound system, three on three to make a total of nine. This time we're gonna do bat wing style or uh, split as they call it. So split or bat wing, same thing as before. So three to, uh, to one simple. This time we're going through a change of direction here. And when we split or fan it out, we're bat winging it. So we could, we could bat wing back, you know, all the way over the edge, or we could bat wing 90 degrees, or we could bat wing off to an angle somewhere else. Um, so that's just a range. So I measured this out again uh, as best I could. I tried to make three times my mechanical advantage times the distance. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, my mechanical advantage was three, so three times the distance of that throw. Uh, again, 39 feet. Hopefully I measured this out okay. It's better if I, I come up long and short, so we'll see what happens. So now we're gonna start hauling again. So three to one here on our change of direction. So 
fuzzy math, we did pretty well. We got pretty close. I was within like 10 inches. I'd say that's pretty good. So this two blocked, let's just say that this two blocked. And if you look at our piggyback system, our three to one back here, we kind of got it to a point where two blocked at the same point. This two blocked about a foot short of that. So if, if that had uh, like less than a foot, maybe 10 more inches to go, this should have been 30 inches back for that, to compensate for that distance, that mechanical advantage on the front end. Uh, times that 10 inches. I need 30 more inches. Maybe like if this anchor was back here, that would have two blocks that extra 10 inches. So pretty happy with that. It doesn't matter what the mechanical advantage here is. Uh, the distance is the same. It's all based off of that throw uh, down there closer to the load. So whatever the mechanical advantage of that throw is times that distance, it doesn't matter what the mechanical advantage here is. This could be a five to one or whatever. It doesn't change the distance needed in order to two block at the same rate. So everything is based off of that first, or what they call second throw, but the throw closest to the load.